Travel ban is not something to do lightly. We've only done it a few times previously, particularly during massive snowstorms, blizzards. But unfortunately, what we learned on Wednesday night is a travel ban is the kind of tool we may need to use much more frequently, which would mean, for example, that, that same morning or that day before telling people there is a chance that a travel ban will be activated, and once it's activated, people will have to leave the streets, get out of subways, et cetera, immediately. That is a very, very different approach, but it's the kind of thing we now need to put on the table. We've all seen those signs when you drive around the city, coastal evacuation route. Well, now we understand there has to be a different kind of evacuation for folks in basement apartments and in some other areas of the city as well. If we are seeing this kind of rain, we have to have an evacuation mechanism that can reach them. And again, this is a very forceful measure. It's not just saying to people you have to get out of your apartment. It's going door to door with our first responders and other city agencies to get people out.